Remember, the very firearm you carry, if you're a firearm carrier, is a valuable item that some people will assault you to take. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. MagTech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some MagTech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at luckygunner.com. Guy on the left is buying something, I think, and he's also on his phone. He happens to have a firearm in his pocket that is sticking out of his pocket, kind of concealed. The guy's behind him notices that, and the guy that's got the, the hoodie up realizes, no, that's a gun, I want that gun, and takes it right off his person, points it at him, and the guy's like, oh man, what am I gonna do now? So then those two dudes are then going to run off, leaving our now gunless private citizen wondering what the heck he should do. Now, I haven't been able to find a, a news story on this one, any kind of a description or anything like that. I looked, let's see it one more time, as he just goes over and grabs a hold of it, points the gun at him, and off he goes into the neighborhood with a stolen firearm. All right, if you open carry and you're willing to say so, put your hand in the air. What kind of retention holster are you using to protect your firearm? Let's hear about it. I am 100% for the right to keep and bear arms for all people, and I think that private citizens should be carrying firearms for their own personal protection. That includes the guy on the left. Of course, you do have to pay attention to your world, right? Uh, having a gun makes you armed like having a guitar makes you a musician, as Jeff Cooper famously once said. And, and recognize that that is a lifestyle of a self-defender, right? That there's a whole bunch of responsibilities that come with that, including if you're gonna carry, carry concealed would be my strong recommendation. I know sometimes people say, well, open carry deters crime. It also shows that you have a gun, and if the guy wants to take it off you, he can do so if he is good at that like we saw here. Number two, you do have to pay attention in your world, right? You can't just sit on your phone goofing off with your gun hanging out there, especially if it's not in an active retention holster. If you are gonna openly carry a gun, I cannot tell you enough, I don't recommend it, but if you do, it needs to be in an active retention holster and not a piece of crap Serpa, okay? Get something like a Safari Land ALS. I don't have any relationship with them, but that's the correct one to keep that, keep your gun in the holster. Because what he does right here is he just runs up and decides he wants the gun and he just is able to yank it right out of the guy's pocket. This is the same as if you have most open top holsters that are not active retention holsters if you're open carrying. Far better than that, conceal and conceal adequately. I don't think he would have seen this if the guy was concealed carrying up front, right? Which again, most people, even if you're strong side carrying, if you got good concealment, you should be okay with that. Otherwise though, when he sees it, he yanks it right away from you and now draws a gun. Now I know there's gonna be some goofball in the comments that says, well yeah, now's when I'm gonna draw my second gun. No, you're not, because your second gun's not gonna be in a place you're gonna have a fast draw, number one. Number two, I mean, the number of people who carry a second firearm is minuscule, and I don't think a private citizen needs to carry a second firearm. Number three, uh, this guy's looking at you right now. You go to draw another gun, he's going to shoot you dead. Now, he is going to look away at some point here, but recognize now, again, you're not going to get a gun out of a secondary location, whether that's, okay, I'm pocket carrying a gun, so now i got to dig it out of my pocket. And again, if you're standing there with your hand in your pocket, it's a different story, but he's not in this particular case. Or if you're going to get one off your ankle or something like that, this is just, it's just an unrealistic thing that people watch movies and think they're gonna do. No, you're not. The answer here is don't let him get the gun to begin with, which means that you've properly concealed carry it. If people don't know that you have it, if you are openly carrying it, it's, it's properly carried in an active retention holster so the guy cannot grab it off you. Because otherwise, you end up standing around like this guy does, looking like a goofball going, oh crap, what do I do now? I can't very well chase the guy. He shouldn't chase the guy. The guy has pointed a gun at him. Uh, and he is a felon now, and obviously chasing fleeing felons is a bad idea. So, if you're gonna carry a firearm, I'm all about it. Make sure that it is properly concealed. If you're gonna open carry, active retention holster, not a piece of crap Serpa holster, a good quality retention holster, something like a Safari Land ALS, so that this kind of trash doesn't happen to you.